Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you an updated video. I haven't done this one in a little while, so I uh, thought I would push out an update. I know people have been asking about it. This is how to set up Home Assistant with a Let's Encrypt uh, SSL cert and uh, DuckDNS domain name. Uh, this is great if you want to be able to uh, externally access your Home Assistant system and have it be secure. Again, this is not required to run Home Assistant, but if you are going to externally access your Home Assistant system uh, from outside your house or your uh, local home network, you definitely need to set up an SSL cert so that you can securely access it. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, of course, we need to verify our public IP address. So if you don't already know the public IP associated with your home network, um, we'll go through how to set that up. Once we have that done, we were going to uh, create a DuckDNS domain name. Now again, you don't have to use DuckDNS if you have your own personal domain name that you've purchased or if you want to use another free domain service, that's fine. Um, whichever domain name you want to use, let's go ahead and set that up next. Uh, once that's done, we are ready to download CertBot Auto. Once we have CertBot Auto downloaded, we are ready to install our SSL cert. Uh, next, once our SSL cert is uh, installed, we are going to add our cert directory to our Home Assistant container. Once that's done, we are ready to update our Home Assistant configuration uh, to point to our new SSL certs. And lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So if you don't already know your public IP address for your local network, uh, you can find that by going to whatsmyip.org. So basically open up your web browser, uh, go to uh, www.whatsmyip.org, and it should pop up and tell you what your uh, public IP is. Uh, jot that down somewhere so you have it saved, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so now we're ready to create a DuckDNS domain name. Again, you don't have to use DuckDNS. If you have your own domain name already set up, or if you want to use one of the other free services, that's fine. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to use DuckDNS. Uh, so basically, you go to uh, www.duckdns.org. And of course, there's uh, all kinds of different ways to log in. I'm going to log in with my Google account. Uh, select my... Uh, Google account here, get logged in with my password. All right, so uh, basically here we are in uh, DuckDNS. Uh, right here where it says uh, add domain, you can put in whatever you want to call your domain name. So type it in here, hit add domain. And then as you can see down here at the bottom, it's going to list out the entry that you just created. And it has the current IP address. Obviously, uh, if you need to change that or point it to the correct public IP, if it didn't automatically add that in there, then you can update the IP address. Um, otherwise, once you have that added, you are ready to go. For all this to work properly with Let's Encrypt and a public domain name and everything, you need to have ports forwarded on your uh, router at your house so that you can access uh, your Home Assistant configuration remotely. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because obviously every router is different uh, and depending on your home setup, uh, it, you know, it will determine how you set that up. But once you have uh, port 80 and uh, 443 forwarded to your Home Assistant system, uh, you're ready to get started with the next step. Now port 80 is just temporary. Uh, you don't have to leave that. This is just for installing the SSL cert. The only time you'll need port 80 open is every time you have to update your SSL cert. Now for Let's Encrypt, uh, they do require you to renew that certificate every three months. All right, so here we are at our command line here inside our Home Assistant configuration directory. We're going to go ahead and create a folder called CertBot, and then we're going to move into that directory. And now we're ready to download CertBot Auto. So we'll do a wget uh, https colon slash slash dl.eff.org slash CertBot dash auto. Uh, we'll give that a second to download. 
And the only other thing we need to do here is we need to do a CH mod A plus X cert bot dash auto. Now at this point, we need to stop our home assistant service from running uh, because we can't have it running and do the SSL cert at the same time. So we're going to go over to Portainer and stop has or home assistant. Uh, once that's stopped, we are ready to move back to the command line and create our new SSL cert. So this is a pretty lengthy command. Of course, I'll have it in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it. Uh, but inside the certbot directory, we're going to do a uh, dot slash certbot dash auto uh, cert only dash dash standalone dash dash standalone dash supported dash challenges http-01-email and then put in our email address whatever that is and then dash d and the domain of our domain name that we just created uh, with DuckDNS or whoever uh, once we have that done then of course it's going to take a little bit to go through its process especially if it's the first time that you are installing certbot-auto it will uh, download some additional files We'll kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Once that's done, if everything went well, you'll get a congratulations. Here's your certificate, blah, blah, blah. Once that's done, we need to make sure that we have a few things set up for our certificates. So we're going to uh, change user to root, sudo su dash. I'm going to move to the let's encrypt directory, which is uh, slash etsy slash let's encrypt. And I just need to make a couple of modifications on the uh, files in that directory for our certificate. So we're going to do a chmod-r0755 live. And then we'll do the same thing for archive. And then let's move into the live directory. And then the directory of our uh, domain name. I'm just going to do an ls here uh, just to show you that those files are in there. So it has created everything correctly. So at this point, I think we're good. Uh, let's move on to the next step. All right, so uh, there's not an easy way to add a, uh, a volume or directory to our, a Docker container. Uh, basically, we would remove the existing uh, Docker container and then rebuild it uh, with the additional volume added. Now, since we have uh, everything stored locally on our host, we won't lose any of our configuration. So we're going to start by doing a Docker RM has. It's going to remove the has container. And then now we're ready to basically uh, recreate it again with the uh, additional volume for our certificates. So we'll do a docker run dash D. And then give it a name. Again, I'm just calling mine has. Uh, dash dash restart is going to be set to on failure. You can also set it to always. It's kind of up to you how you want to set that up. Since I'm not going to forward any ports specifically, we're going to say dash dash net equals host. Now, of course, for the first volume, we're going to point it at our home assistant configuration. So we'll do a uh, dash V slash home slash Adrian slash home underscore assistant colon slash config. Uh, for our certificates, we're going to do a dash V slash Etsy slash let's encrypt colon slash certs. Uh, next, uh, we're going to give it our time zone. Mine is America slash Chicago. Lastly, just call the Home Assistant Docker Hub, which is Home Assistant slash Home dash Assistant. I already have it downloaded, so it should come up pretty quickly. Once that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step.
All right, so now we need to update our Home Assistant configuration file to point to the new SSL certs. So we're going to vi configuration.yaml, find the section that talks about HTTP. We're going to add just a, a few lines in here. Um, I have all of my stuff listed in my secrets.yaml file, so it makes it pretty easy. Uh, so we need to add a line for SSL underscore certificate. And here's what the actual path will look like. I'll have it listed here below and also in the description when you just copy and paste it. Uh, SSL underscore key. and base underscore URL. Once you have all this information entered in your configuration, you are ready to uh, save this and start Home Assistant backup. So we're gonna move over to Portainer here, select has and then hit start. Once that's done, uh, we are ready to move on to that final step. So as you can see here, we have accessed our uh, Home Assistant system by going to our uh, .dns domain name that we created. The certificate's there, so it's all done through HTTPS. Everything is working properly. I'm able to get logged in without any issues. That is it guys, that is the end of this video. I know a lot of this stuff can be confusing, but it's really not too hard to set up. It's more time consuming than anything else. But again, if you want to be able to access your system uh, securely from outside, you need to set it up this way. All right, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Uh, for starters, uh, we uh, made sure what our public IP address was uh, on our local network. Once we did that, uh, we created our .dns domain name. Again, you don't have to use .dns, it's whatever you want. Uh, then we downloaded CertBot Auto. Once that was downloaded, we were ready to install our SSL cert. Uh, once that was done, we added our cert directory to our Home Assistant container. After that, we updated our Home Assistant configuration. And lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.